Now let's do a little bit more difficult problem, and that is write the equation of a parabola given a vertex and a point of the parabola. So, as a first example, let's say you have a parabola and the vertex is the point 4 minus 6 and another point is 3 minus 3. Now it turns out it doesn't matter which other point you have. If you have the vertex in any point, you can always write the equation of a parabola. And to start here, you write out the general, um, the general description of a parabola in hk form. So you have y is equal to a, x minus h squared plus k. And you already know h and k because you know the vertex. So that's y is equal to a, x minus 4 squared minus 6. And I like to put a box around this because you're almost done when you're here. If you look at this problem, you have everything is set for you need to know what a is. So now what we're going to do is we're going to temporarily plug in the point in order to find A. So let's do that. We have Y is equal to A X minus 4 squared minus 6. We're going to plug in the point. 3 minus 3, so where the y is, we're going to plug in a minus 3 is equal to a, 3 minus 4 squared minus 6, and all we need to know is a, so we're going to solve for a. So we need to do it inside the parentheses first, that's 3 minus 4 is a minus 1, minus 1 squared, is simply going to be 1. So you have minus 3 is equal to a minus 6. You're going to add 6 to both sides, and a is going to be positive 3. Go back to here, where I had boxed it in red. I have everything there I need except for a by temporarily plugging in the point, x and y value of the point. I find a, I plug in a, and I'm done. Your final answer is 3, x minus 4 squared minus 6. Let's do another example. Again, we're given a parabola. We know the vertex. In this case, the vertex is minus 2, 5, and the point on the vertex is 4 minus 13. So what we need to do first is write down a, y is equal to a, x minus h squared plus k. I know h and k because I know the vertex, so let's plug those in. y is equal to a x plus 2 squared plus 5. Remember hk form, the h changes signs and the k doesn't change sign. And I circle this in red. Now I'm going to plug in x is equal to 4, y is equal to minus 13. And I'm going to solve for a. Right? Because I know that's the point 4 comma minus 13. So I have minus 13 is equal to a, 4 plus 2 squared plus 5. That's minus 13 is equal to a. That's 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. So I have minus 13 is equal to 36a plus 5. I'm simply going to solve for a. I subtract 5 from both sides. I get minus 18 is equal to 36a, divide by 36, a is equal to, let's see, minus 18 divided by 36 is going to be a minus 1 half. Now I know a. 
Come back up to the previous step here where I had it boxed in red. This, I'm completely done with the problem except I don't know A. Now I know A, I just go back to that part of the problem and plug A in. And I get Y is equal to minus 1 half, X plus 2 squared, plus 5. And that's my equation. It's the equation of a parabola with vertex minus 2, comma 5. It opens down and it's relatively Y. And that's how you find the equation of a parabola given a vertex and a point. Now if you want it in standard form, you would simply um, work the algebra out here. So let's do that next. Now what form you want it in depends upon what you're going to do with the problem next. On a test it might just say write in standard form or it might not say. Now the key here is, is you cannot distribute across the parentheses because of this power, so you have to do the power first. So that's x plus 2 times x plus 2, we just foil that out and we get x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 1 half x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 5. I'm going to distribute the minus one half, and I get minus one half x squared. Minus one half times four is two, so that's minus two x. Minus one half times four is a minus two plus five. Combine the like terms, and I get y is equal to minus one half x squared. Minus two x plus three. And that's my final answer. Now whether you want it in vertex form or whether you want it in standard form, um, both answers are correct. It just depends on which one is asked for.